Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for January 22nd through the 28th. Now generally my readings are love readings. We will just see what comes up. Just take what resonates and leave the rest and really realize that this reading might not be for you. Okay, it may or it may not be. Okay, so let's just see what comes up. This is the Ask Angels deck. So what I would like you to do is ask a question and at the end it will be revealed the answer. We're also going to get an energy from this deck. We're going to see whatever comes up. Ooh, conflict and defeat. This is the Five of Swords. Okay, can you see the pictures? See the people? It's like shadows in the background. There's, it's been way too many conflicts. Perhaps you're feeling defeated in some area of your life. And we are going to be using the Wild Unknown for your reading. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so we're just going to see whatever comes up. Oh, there they are. Oh, right off the bat, we have the tower, okay? So there is some kind of downfall, okay? There's some kind of breakdown. You know, something major is happening because it's, it's meant to, okay? This is really a gift from the universe. You might not see it as a gift, but it is. Because change is needed. Change is needed. It's like there's, there's it's time, okay? It's like the, the, there's been too much going on. There's something, there's been too much juggling. Something, you are juggling with something that doesn't serve you. You know, it feels like here, it's like you're wanting romance. You're wanting some romance. You're looking for romance, for for relationship growth but it doesn't look like it's growing okay because it's over something is something has ended i'm not sure what it is you're looking for relationship growth but it's not there's it's like you need to accept something okay um Yeah, it's like there's a cycle that needs to end, but it's not. It's not ending because you have to take action. You have to take control. You have to take the lead. You have to be the dominant one here, okay? And it's it's interesting. It really is. When this, when this emperor comes up, it's like you have to take control. It's time to release the chaos. Get rid of it. And this is chaos as well. You guys have had something chaotic or crazy happen or it's going to happen that's going to cause you to take the lead you're going to have to remain in control um you may be dealing with somebody who is very much into their own security that's all they're into okay because when this is the um king of pentacles it's reversed this person is very materialistic um Money is more important than love for this person, okay? In the reverse, it is. And that could be where your shakeup comes about, is that you realize that somebody is just in it for some kind of security. Now, this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. This is Aries. We also have <clears throat> Pisces, um, Cancer, Scorpio. But I really feel like with this moon reversed, the unknown is not really unknown. It's like you knew this was coming. You saw this coming. It's like your your intuition has been telling you something. There was some hidden forces, but it really wasn't hidden because you had some inner knowing about it. You know, and it has to do with this completion here. Something that is ending or has ended. You know, and you may feel good. 
you may feel better that you know now this is finally out on the table I think that something has been revealed to you and it's no longer a secret and it's something that you saw coming um, you could be dealing with a uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius this is Leo but there's unhappiness here because the Sun is reversed there's some feeling of unhappiness and a very materialistic uh, energy. This is materialistic, and that's the truth, okay? So this is like coming out of the dark. There is some kind of secret, I believe, that's going, that is coming out. There's some kind of revelation here. And it may come as a shock to you at first, but it's, it's not really a shock because it's like you saw it coming. It, it, it was probably like, I knew this was coming all along. And you were just wait, waiting, okay? So what it looks like to me is if you look at these two cards here, it's intact. Your, your structure, your stability, your home, whatever is nice and intact, okay? Everything is good for a minute. Not for long something comes in and just causes a major upheaval all right so beware that's what i have to say when the when the uh when the moon comes out in a re reading that is also beware but i think that you know what this is okay because the moon is reversed it's like yeah you can be cautious all you want but it's not like you didn't see this coming all right i feel like you were just waiting for it to happen. You were waiting for this collapse to happen. And now you're coming out of the dark because I feel like a secret has been revealed in regards to probably your relationship, okay? Because that is relationship growth right there. But there's all these cards around it that say there's some kind of completion regarding perhaps a relationship. But let me uh, focus this in and we'll go from there. Remember this Five of Swords, okay? This is conflict. This came out before any of these cards. You may be feel defeated once this upheaval enters your life, okay? And this upheaval could, could really open your eyes to something, put it that way, okay? Because that Five of Pentacles is seeing the light, all right? Um, it's kind of like the end of a difficult period. You've been struggling, and it's clear that you've been struggling with something, okay? And this is like, you know, the coming out of the struggle a little bit. Oh, my gosh. So we have, you could be dealing with a Leo. Okay, these are both the signs of Leo. This one is too. So anyway, you could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. We have Leo and Aries pretty prominently here. But anyway, it feels like there's a lack of confidence, a lack of growth, a lack of willpower, a lack of determination, you know. So, and there could be a break in a relationship. I mean, that's the two of cups reversed. So for whoever is watching this, you know, it could be a water sign you're dealing with as well because we have them here too. Um, could be a, an earth sign, too. So it really, I don't like to say the signs. It really could be anybody, all right? But it feels like there could be some split on the horizon, and it isn't making you happy. Somebody's not happy because of this right here, and it feels like there could be some kind of breakup. I mean, that is what the Two of Cups is. It's like a split. I mean, uh, it's a partnership upright. It's a love partnership. Reverse, it's a split. So I feel like you will probably be going through some kind of split or you're contemplating a split, split a breakup because you're not happy. There's a lack of uh, growth here. You know, and there could be there could be a third party situation. There could be, you know, with you or the other person, but it feels like you have a choice between two people. Um, what's under this card? King of Pentacles. All right. So anyway, um, this right here is saying that it's time to compromise. It's time to communicate. All right. I feel like you are being offered 
a new beginning in love or some new love. Uh, you could have a, a reconciliation or you could ha have a new start with somebody. Okay, whoever you're with, whatever, however this applies to your situation, this is an offer of love. Perhaps with a Capricorn. But I have to tell you, the devil brings in karmic situations. Okay, it's also a card of sex and lust. So beware, beware. This person is also, I mean, it's an earth sign, this king of pentacles under here. Okay, so it is an earth sign, but it's somebody who is who, who can be very loyal, who can be very um, stable and secure. So you may be uh, receiving an offer of love from somebody who is, is, that you're very attracted to, put it that way, you're very, very attracted to this person. You may even be obsessed with them or they may be obsessed with you. Um, and there's, there's definitely a, a uh, magnetic attraction, put it that way, uh, and you're being called to follow your path to do what's right for you. Okay? This is believing in yourself, following your own path, listening to your inner guide. I feel like there's this is also a commitment, a marriage perhaps. What the heck is this? Independence. Now we have the 9 of pentacles. I feel like you're you're involved in a situation where you're not feeling loved or you feel like you deserve more because this is the four of cups. So you may be considering being independent. You're going out on your own. But it feels like you, I think there's a different, there's an interest here outside of your current relationship. And I'm sorry to tell you that I'm sure that the cross watchers are not going to like this. And, you know, I can't change it. But I feel like what this is, is that some of you are unhappy where you're at. So you're looking outside the relationship, perhaps for uh, something else. Okay, you're looking for something else. And you, you know, maybe you have to get single to to pursue that something else. I'm not sure. You know, that's what it looks like to me. If somebody's not happy with this Four of Cups and they're, it's time to be honest. It's time to be truthful. Okay? It really is. This is the Page of Swords. It's some. There's some outside observation here, whether it's you or the other person. It's like, right now I'm just looking, but because I can't take action. You know, and this is also conflict. There's a lot of conflicts here. I think there's a mentally restless energy where you want to follow your desires. I think there's a lot of, there's heavy um, outside influence here. And you are being called to follow your heart, follow your intuition with this hair font, follow your own path, do what's right for you. Because I think there's a lack of, a lack of uh, reciprocation of love or something, or you can't offer love to somebody or somebody's not offering love to you. I mean, that's what this card is. And this is feeling like, you know what, I need to, I need to be independent at this time. Oh, God. I think there's a detachment here. I think, and this is you, Scorpio. And this, the, this is the King of Cups. Reversed is detachment detaching from a situation and probably living very gratefully on your own, taking care of business by yourself. But you've been procrastinating because you were going through some kind of test. I feel like you've been patient You've been planning. You've been trying to be more practical. 
working on yourself and now you've probably come to a point where you still have these desires that need to be met and you could be thinking about a Capricorn and I'm just saying that because that's what it is okay that is the Capricorn right there so it could be it could be any sign somebody that you has the Capricorn energies okay somebody that is very determined okay somebody that is very determined very uh, very practical, very um, seductive. But right now it feels like you're blocked from moving forward. You're blocked from moving forward because you haven't you haven't freed yourself from something. You're still stuck somewhere. You can't spread your wings and fly. You haven't, you are, you, there's an obstacle in the way that you have to remove and you haven't removed it yet. This card says you must remove an obstacle to get what you desire. And you know, the thing is with this hermit reversed, it's like you're, you have this fear of being let down. You have this fear of growing old alone. I see some loneliness here. Yes, I'm lonely. I'm not, a, I'm not a Scorpio at all. I'm just talking to you guys. I'm lonely. And I think there's some sexual desires that are building up, building up, building up. And perhaps you're staying stuck in a situation that you don't want to be in that doesn't make you happy, but you're, you can't move forward because you don't want to be alone. I mean, that's what this card says reversed. Here, we see that you need to be compassionate with yourself. You need to love yourself fully and you need to follow your intuition. Really, really listen to your intuition. I feel that your focus... Your focus is more on stability, finances, your job, your career, and creating who you want to be, who you need to be, creating yourself at this time. You may be working on yourself, building up your confidence, building up your courage, building up your inner being. That's what, I, that's what I see. I feel like you're really, really working on yourself during this time. And that's why this, this introspection has come into play. I feel like you guys have been through a period, or you're still going through a period of introspection. What else do we have for this week? Oh, you must follow your intuition. Whatever's going on in your life. You are being called to just listen. Just listen. Whatever messages that you receive, go with them. Whatever shakeup this is, whether it has happened or it hasn't happened, it's meant to happen for a reason. When this card comes up, it, I believe there's a secret that has been revealed or it is going to be revealed, especially with the other card. There's something going on behind the scenes, whether it's you that is doing it or the person that you're with there's something that you don't know about this situation maybe you don't know the whole truth maybe you don't don't know how they feel maybe they're in a third party situation maybe you're in a third party situation i don't know this is for hundreds and thousands of people maybe you have desires elsewhere but you're not moving on because you you're for, for fear of rejection maybe you have a desire for somebody but you're scared that they'll say no But I feel like you are detached from something at this time. And it could be, it could, I'm not sure what it is. I'm not, I, there's some kind of conflict and defeat in your life. And it's big. And um, in one of my, I think it's this deck. 
it is this deck. If I was to find the Five of Swords, it's actually a worm that's split in two. Okay? It's a split. It's a cut. Where there's actually a, a separation. Okay? So, in Fives, what do they bring? Conflict and de defeat. It feels like something is probably going to happen or has happened that is really going to wake you up. We're going to move this card over. I feel like for many of you, you have a choice between two people. Okay? I think you know who both of those these people are. Okay, I think you have a choice probably between a could be any sign because we have them all here. And you just one of them fulfills some needs and the other can fulfill the other. And that's what I see. I feel like that's why this shakeup comes into your life. That's why this tower is the very first card that came out. Something needs to be done about this. You are being called to follow your own path with that Hierophant card, but you haven't been doing it. You haven't been. You have a divine connection with the High Priestess and the Hierophant card in this. That means you have a very divine connection with somebody with the High Priestess and the, the Hierophant. That's also a soulmate connection. Okay, with that devil card, that's also a soulmate connection. Okay, so you do have a soulmate connection here. And I think it's somebody that you know, that you've been with before. We also have the father of cups and the, and the mother of cups. You are, you are thinking about somebody that you know that is a soulmate. But this is also karma. Okay, there's karma here. So there's a karmic lesson. And I think that lesson is about following your path. And listening to your inner guide. You can't deny it. If you deny it and say, oh, that person's not my soulmate. When deep down you know they are. And you haven't learned that lesson. You're going to keep having the conflicts and the defeat. Okay. Son of a gun. Past life relationship. I told you. I just got done telling you. You've known each other before. And I think it has to do with this. Okay. <laughs> I don't really like to say twin flames. But if there ever was, this would be it. Okay. But I feel like right now, you really, really have to follow your inner guide. There's something that needs to break down so that you can reunite with this. And right here is your breakdown. That's what I have. I can't change it. But you can. You have your question? And for those of you that are watching and you don't know what a twin flame is, it's uh, so it's it's people think it's where a uh, uh, soul splits, you know, a soul splits in the divine, and one the masculine goes one way and the feminine goes the other until they're ready to meet up. I consider it a life partner, okay. So I believe that you guys are. You have a life partner. But I don't think you're with them. And I'm sorry to say this. I really, really am. But I don't think you're with that person right now. Because this tower is here. In the conflicts, it's just not, I don't think that you are. I think that you, something needs to happen so that you can unite with this person. And you know what? This reading will not resonate with every single person that watches it. It 
You have your question? <laughs> your inner guide. Trust your inner guide. Trust in the divine plan. Trust. If your guide, your gut, your heart belongs somewhere, that's where it should be. That's what I have, Scorpio. Talk to you later.